Hi and welcome to this second video about how you can use the skills of NLP to transform your life and your future. I'm Phil Park and you may remember on the last video we looked at changing your future by changing the way you perceive it inside your mind. Remember stretching it, changing the colour, all that kind of stuff. I hope you found that really useful as a starting point. Today we're going to look at something that we flagged up in the last video which is okay what happens if you're having a great future and you're moving towards what you want but you find that people are getting in the way. And we quite often find this, don't we? People who resist change, people who want to put a down on things, are being pessimistic, or just causing some kind of friction. So how do we deal with this? Well, I've got some brilliant skills that I'd like to share with you in the next section of the video. Many of us, when we come across people who are resistant or getting in the way of our lives, we'll try the most obvious solution, which is to make them change, to tell them what they need to do, and to try and coerce them into making something different. But if you probably also notice when you try this, it simply doesn't work. People don't seem to respond positively to these brilliant solutions that we've given them. So we have to find a different solution, and the solution is not for them to change, but for us to change ourselves, to change how we respond to them. So I'm going to teach you a technique that will allow you to do just this. It's similar to the one that we used about looking at brilliant futures, changing the colour and shape. But this time what I'd like you to do is to think about this person who for you is a bit negative. As you think about them, notice where do you see them? Where do they pop into your mind from? So when I think about them, they're here. To see them, notice what size they are, how large, how close they are to you. What you notice, is it a full body, is it just a bit? And then what I'd like you to do, very, very simply, is to shrink them down to the size of a peanut. So they're this big. As soon as you do that, you'll notice there's a shift in how you feel about them. Then what I'd like you to do is change the distance between you and them. So take this peanut and move it far away, all the way over there. So it's a few hundred yards from you. So you're looking over there and you're seeing them the size of a peanut. Now what I'd like you to do is let it drop so they're actually at floor level. So you're looking down on them over there. And what you'll find when you do this, for the vast majority of you, that will completely change how you feel about them. You'll have a sense of space, distance, ease, as though they're not bothering you. They're not as significant and what they say or do is not as important. Now for some of you, when you do this, this may not be the thing that makes the difference because everybody's individual. What I'd like you to do if you're one of those people is just move it around. Usually shrinking it down will definitely make a difference, but put it maybe over there to your right or in front of you or well behind you. You may find putting up on the moon might help you. The main thing is learning that you have a choice, that you can change where these people are because most of the time, of course, we're not around these people. Yet we get bothered by them, even in their absence. So it can't be them that's causing us the trouble. It must be us thinking about them in a certain way. A really interesting thing happens. When you make this shift, it changes how you feel about them. And that means when you next come to meet with them, you change how you are around them. The things they say will very often be the same, but they won't bother you in the same way. It's almost like you've got this sense of distance and detachment where it washes over you like water off a duck's back. And that could be really valuable because, of course, the relationship itself between you and them is not a static thing. Although it may have been stable and the same for years, it doesn't actually exist. What exists are two people relating to each other. If they continue doing whatever they're doing and you continue doing whatever you're doing, then the relationship will appear to be the same. But if they continue to do what they do and you do something different, then the way you relate will shift. There will be a difference. And as a result, they will respond to you differently. And then life becomes easier. So check it out, apply it, and notice what changes you can make. And what I'd love you to do is to leave a comment below and tell me what difference that's made. And if it didn't make a difference, or the kind of difference that I'm saying it will do, leave me a message about that and I'll tell you what you can do to fine tune this process, because this process is really bulletproof. It works really, really well. You just may need a little bit of fine tuning. 
Now, when you've done this, you've changed your future, feeling how you feel about your future. You've changed how you feel about people who are obstacles to you and your future, you're producing friction. Then everything starts to unfold beautifully, mostly. Of course, there's other things that we need to sort. One of the things very often is us. What are we doing that's getting in the way of us having the happy, brilliant future that we feel we love and we deserve? What are our beliefs about that? And a whole range of other stuff. Now, if you're intrigued by what we've talked about so far, then you'll probably be really interested in learning more. And there's two ways you can do this. You can do it by coming and attending a course with me in London or other parts of the world, the way we run the courses. Or you can do some online versions of some of these courses. We've got one coming up called the Core Skills course, which is coming up really soon. If you want to find more, follow this link here that will take you to the website. It gives you all the details of the various options of how you can do it. Because I know not everybody can come and travel and see me. Some people want to do it in the comfort of their home. But we can do that. The technology is amazing now. So if you're interested in learning a bit more about how you can move your life on, how you can learn, how you can apply some of these skills to help people, we just start to get clear about how you can be even more happy, healthy, successful and fulfilled, then you may want to check that out. Thanks for listening and please feel free to share this video with anybody. These skills are so exciting, so interesting and so simple to use that everybody needs a chance. You take care now.